I don't know, chapter 33 of um, Second Chronicles. It says, Manasseh reigns in Judah. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign. He reigned 55 years in Jerusalem, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel. For he rebuilt the high places that his father Hezekiah had broken down, and he erected altars to the balls or demons, and made Asheroth, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. Many angels, stars, plants, all that stuff. Astrology, pretty much. And he built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said, In Jerusalem shall my name be forever. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he burned, and he burned his sons as an offering in the valley of the son of him, and used fortune telling and omens and sorcery, and dealt with mediums and, and, with, and, with, and with necromancers. He, um, he did much evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. And the carved image of the, of the idol that he had that he had made. Home. And, he, and the carved image of the idol that he had made, he set in the house of God, which God said to David and Solomon his son. In this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever, and I will no more remove the foot of Israel from the land that I appointed for your fathers, if only they will be careful to do all that I have commanded them, all the law, the, the rules given through Moses. But not to let Judah and the, and the inhabitants to, of Jerusalem astray. To do more evil than than the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the people of Israel, Manasseh's repentance. The Lord spoke to Manasseh and to his people, but they but they paid no attention. Therefore, the Lord brought upon them the commanders of the army of the king of, of Assyria, who captured Manasseh with, with hooks and bound him with chains of bronze and brought him to Babylon. And when he was in distress, he answered, or he he uh, he entreated the favor of the Lord his God, his Christ. And humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers. He prayed to him, and God was moved by his entreaty, or his entreaty, and heard his plea, and brought him again to Jerusalem and to his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord was God, so he was saved. You know, which is, which is awesome. Um, afterward, he built an alt, his afterward he built an outer wall for, for, for Jerusalem west of Gihon in this valley, and put the entrance into the fish gate and carried it around Ophel and raised it to a very great height. He also put commanders of the army in all of the fortified cities in Judah, and he took away the foreign gods and the idol from the house of the Lord and all the altar, and all the altars that he had built on the mountain of the house of the Lord in, and in Jerusalem. And he threw them outside, outside of the city. He also restored the altar of the Lord and offered on his sacrifices and peace offerings and of thanksgiving. And he commanded Judah to serve the Lord, the God of Israel, of course, Christ. Nevertheless, people still, still sacrificed them at the high places, but all unto the Lord their God. And the rest acts of Manasseh and his prayers to, to his God, in the words of the seers who spoke to him in the name of the Lord, the God of Israel, behold, they are in the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In his prayer, and how God was moved by his entreaty, and all his sin and his faithlessness, and the sites on which he built high places and set up the ashram and the images, for he humbled himself, behold, they are written in the chronicles of the seers. So Manasseh, spoke, or Manasseh died, and they buried him in, in his house, and Ammon, his son, ran his place. Amon's reign and death. Um, Amnon was 22 years old when he began to reign. He reigned two years in Jerusalem, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, as Manasseh his father had done. Amnon sacrificed all, to all the images that Manasseh his father had made, and served them. And he did not humble himself for the Lord, as Manasseh his father had humbled himself. But this Amnon incurred guilt with more and more. And his servants conspired against him and put him to death in his house. The people of the land had struck down. All those who had conspired against the king Amnon, and the people of the land made Josiah his son king in his place. So 33 is interesting. You have Manasseh reigns in Judah and leads them into, into sin, you know, leads them away from God, but then God saves Manasseh and he repents of what he did and comes back and brings, um, brings of course, um, Israel and Judah back, back to God. And then when he, <clears throat> and then when he dies, his son Amnon took over and leaves him back into sin and then he dies also. So that's 33 and I'll be right about 34 years shortly.